Daniel Cavarcas. I'm from Colombia. Um, well, first and foremost, I am a um, husband and a father. I have two little kids, four and six years old. And if from the academic point of view, I am a professor at the National University of Colombia since 2013. Uh, I, I did my PhD in mathematics at the University of Cincinnati. This is in the US under the supervision of Professor Jin Tai Ding. Uh, the, the to, uh, then I, I moved to Germany and I did a postdoc at the University of Darmstadt in, Ger in Germany. Uh, this was under the supervision of Johannes Buchmann. Uh, my, my research topic, and, and then after that, I, I moved back to Colombia um, to, to work at the, University of, at the National University of Colombia. Um, my, my research topic, um, so my PhD was on a Grobner basis and um, how to compute Grobner basis. Uh, and applications of Grobner basis to cryptography. Since then, I, I did uh, different applications to cryptography from algebra. So I did a little bit of lattices and, uh, and other applications. I've been trying all kinds of applications of algebra to uh, cryptography and to other topics in, in computation. So I'm working something in between algebra and computation. Um, and, and more recently, in the past five years, I've been involved in this uh, NIST post-quantum competition, where the NIST is trying to uh, standardize um, new cryptography that is quantum resistant. And I, I've been working on the cryptanalysis side, trying to understand the security of some of the proposals in this competition. Well, I, I think it's a great time to do mathematics in Colombia. Mm, since the 90s, there was uh, an incentive uh, there, there was an incentive created to, to do research at the public universities in Colombia. And, and since then, these, thanks to this incentive, many researchers have moved to Colombia to do research in mathematics. So I, I think there's a very good uh, math researchers working right now at the institutions in Colombia. Um, so in, in many topics, I would say there, there's even critical mass to have uh, good conferences and collaborations within Colombia. And this has improved the level of mathematics in Colombia a lot. And then, so there are other topics like mine that it's just getting there, we're getting there, but th there's there's things happening, and, and then uh, on the other side, there's also this um, new uh, flow of opportunities for mathematicians to do things like machine learning, or to do uh, quantum computation, or to do uh, cryptography for things like cryptocurrencies and things like this. So there's also, from the students, there's a good interest in doing mathematics. Um, so it is, it is a good time to, to do mathematics in Colombia. All, all, things, all these things are, are happening at the same time. Of course, the problem is usually funding. So um, the, like, state funding for research in mathematics uh, in Colombia is not very good. So uh, 
we, we need to look for funding outside of, of the university often and outside the country sometimes. And it, but of course, I, it's, it's a trade-off in, in mathematics. The good thing is that we don't need that much funding. We don't need these huge uh, labs. Um, but we, we do need funding for, for supporting students to, to do math. And so it's a good time. There are challenges, but uh, I think it's, it's a good time to do mathematics in Colombia. <laughs>so this has been a great opportunity for me to do research to focus on research to do networking with colleagues that work in similar topics uh, on the personal level uh, it's um, so I, i've been working at the national university of colombia for 10 years so there's a lot of responsibilities for uh, on, on teaching on things like uh, administrative tasks and it, it's often difficult and, and even and with my family also so it's, so it's difficult to find the time to to do to focus really on research and and this has been a great opportunity to do that to to really focus on uh, very interesting topics on research and then from from the point of view of networking uh, uh, it's also it's been great to to create new uh, contacts and and i think this is going to be also important for finding opportunities for students later on so when i go back it's i think it's very important to have this network for so that I can uh, find opportunities for the students. Uh, so it's been great on, on every level, I think. Um, uh, I spent five weeks in Switzerland working with Professor Gorla, and, and she's been great, and we did really nice. We had, a, we found a, like a good point of collaborating together and now I am here at the ICTP in, in Trieste in, in Italy and I've been teaching this mini course on computation of, of Grobner bases. And uh, yeah, it, it's also, uh, yeah, it's been great, really. Well, I, I hope it, it will drive research um, the research I do, the research we do at all our university, um, I'm, I hope it will bring light to what we do, to show our abilities, our capa capacity to do research, our, and, and this hopefully will bring new opportunities. So th there are opportunities all over uh, Europe, and I've started to see those opportunities and, and to have the networking to, to build on those. So the, there's, for instance, I was talking here with Professor Lothar. He, he told me about this um, a diploma they have. And it's an, it's an opportunity for students after their bachelor uh, to come here and do a one year of preparation for going into grad school and it's fully funded and it's great and th there are many things like that i i, I also talked to christian he told me about uh, how simpa funds these schools there's possibility to do the simpa schools and he he asked me maybe we can do one in colombia uh, at some point so yeah it's uh, I hope this will improve the research we do and also bring new opportunities to uh, me and our institution and our students.